holiday this weekend, not Mother's Day. Saturday is National <laughs> Migratory Bird Day. Yeah, Smithsonian's National Zoo is celebrating with Bird Fest. That's where we find our Eileen Whalen. She's live at the zoo with a sneak preview. Eileen. Hey guys, good morning. Yeah, this is the place to be on Saturday. Maybe you can come before you head over to Vino Fest. But, you know, the Migratory Bird Festival happening on Saturday. And I've got Eric Slovak here to talk to us a little bit more about what people can experience when they come to the festival. Yeah, so this Saturday, uh, about from 10 to 2, uh, it's Migratory Bird Day here at the National Zoo. We're having Bird Fest. And we're going to have a lot of great activities uh, for kids. Okay. There's going to be a bird scavenger hunt. Um, they get to make a, a bird mask and take it home with them. And for all ages, we have um, bird walks. Okay. Perfect. So let me actually get out of the way because I want to show people um, what we're doing kind of behind the scenes. So these, which birds are these? And they're, they're getting fed. This is their morning routine. Yep. So these are black-crowned night herons. Um, they're a migratory species. They're wild. Okay. They've been coming to the zoo for over 100 years. So they've been here longer than the birdhouse has even been here. And uh, we feed them in the morning and in the afternoon. Um, if you would walk around and look at other exhibits, you'll see keepers feeding our animals. So we actually are feeding them for a distraction. And this is one of the things that when people come to Bird Fest, they'll actually get to see a feeding. Absolutely. So at 2 o'clock uh, this Saturday, you guys can come right here uh, at this spot, and you can see our keepers feeding black on night herons. Uh, there will be a keeper out here uh, giving lots of facts and information about them. And, and if also if you walk around and you look up in the trees, you'll see their, their rookery where they, they breed in the nest. And probably here in about three or four weeks, uh, we'll have hundreds of black night herons because all the eggs will have hatched. Oh, how exciting. And so we've got Sarah over here. She is preparing the delicious uh, menu item. And on the menu this morning, it looks like we've got some, uh, some fish. Here, bring this over because we can show everyone at home because uh, maybe you're jealous that this isn't your breakfast. So anyway, so Sarah, um, do you enjoy doing this? Yeah, absolutely. Can I, can I throw one in? Sure. Am I allowed? Why not? Oh, that's some herring. Yummy. Oh, smells very fishy. All right, here you go, little birdies. All right, there they go. Come on, come on. Oh, these are slimy. I guess that's typical for a fish, but anyways. Yay! Enjoy your breakfast. Okay, now I've got slime on my finger, so I'll have to get a napkin in a minute. But anyways, so what are the times that you have again for the Bird Fest? So Bird Fest is from 10 to 2 o'clock here at the National Zoo mm -hmm. at the Bird Plateau. All righty. Well, come out, enjoy, and I hear, Eric, that the weather is going to be pretty nice. So go and you don't have to get tickets. Is this free? No, this is a free event for oh, everybody. Well, look at that. Of course, it's at the National Zoo. So great weather. Come check out the birds. We're going to be doing, I think, flamingos we're going to feature next. Absolutely. And in our 9 o'clock hour, we are going to meet Alice, who is a... Stanley Crane. Stanley Crane. So a lot to do. Anyways, guys, good thing you... Oh, can't smell my fingers. Herring. Yum. Yeah.